we're having a ride over to our May Volkswagen Tech Session. And what this is, once a month, all of we Volkswagen junkies get together and we work on each other's shit, trying to solve problems and keep our cars on the road. Some of us work on our stuff ourselves, so I go and I donate my time to helping others. And of course, being social helps to get out, you know, and meet people. You're having a fish fry at the church here across the street. That sounds really good. You know, we're gonna have pizza today for lunch, probably. So anyway, I'm off to uh, Don's house where he usually hosts tech session. There's usually a lot going on. We're probably gonna see Carlos today and Tommy. If you have been watching the videos on my other channel, you'll see the 73 Beetle that I helped him to pick up a few weeks ago. Today should be the first day that he starts working on it. It's a really nice car. It already had the floors all replaced on it. Oh, my camera, camera was malfunctioning for some reason. And hopefully it's settled now. And it would run about 5-10 seconds to shut itself off. And I don't know what the hell its problem was. Making sure my audio is plugged in. It's endlessly been a problem with this stupid homo camera. But anyway, as I was saying, I had a problem with my throttle linkage. It, it likes to... Um, knock the carburetors out of sync after some some uh, running and you know you shut it off the next morning you're going to start it up and the carburetors are all out of sync and it didn't make any sense to me that that tells me that something third party is affecting the, the car something is something's touching it you know something is messing with my car and i thought maybe it was like an animal climbing up in the engine compartment laying on the linkage or something because it's you know only very delicate metals and shafts and they bend pretty easy but I couldn't make any, any sense out of that because if I went to the gas station and stopped and filled with gas, by the time I was leaving, the carburetors were out of sync again. It, it didn't make any sense, and I've been having a lot of problems with that. So what I'm probably going to do is, is get a different kind of um, throttle linkage that stays in, in tune a little, little better. I'll have to see what's available for the Type 3. Stuff on here is a little weird. Uh, we're coming up on tech session here in just a moment. Up with that traffic light ahead, we got to make a right-hand turn, and then uh, a few houses down is Don's place. see who's here today. I see Jeff. I see Matt. Beetle I don't recognize. Hello, What's happening? What are you saying? What is that shit? You're gonna be on YouTube doing that now. Oh, shit. What's up? What's going on, man? 
same old, same old. I hear you. I hear you. I haven't seen that car in ages. I just recognized it now. Which one? Jim's car. I know. What, has it been sitting over here? Broke down? No, it looks like it's been sitting though. It's yeah. covered in pollen. That's what my my Nissan looks like What's right now. What's he doing over here? Just gone by. I he knew he was selling it. He yeah. was selling it. Yeah, I don't know if he actually did sell it. What's up, Bob? The temperature. You driving your car yet? When I send it, see my number. Yeah, yeah, it will. Ask another question. <laughs> I gotta get this camera fixed. It doesn't want to stay where it's supposed to stay here. Try that again. Here we go. Reset. And we're back in action. There it is. That's what it's supposed to do. <laughs> Let's see what Carlos is up to. They're gonna try to. Morning! Glenn! Hey, how you doing? Pretty so you found a carburetor, huh? Good, because yeah, I have a carload of them. <laughs> you wearing a GoPro? Yes. Neat. We'll be on YouTube. Is that the action cam that keeps fucking breaking? And the progress your videos. on this thing. Bleats my audios. Which audio? Yeah. Hey, Ro. Uh, hopefully it's working. I didn't do a sound check on it this morning. Uh, I should have been recording this whole time. That's oh, all right. So where'd you get your car? Where's Bill? Uh, uh, probably the show. I got it from Nikki. Oh, good. Okay. Free. Yeah. It looks good, so excellent. Yeah. I, I went through a, the carburetors that that Solex that I had is a brand new German made carburetor retail three hundred and fifty dollars. Really? Yeah, I'm not letting that one go cheap. <laughs> a brand probably, new, like brand in new, the box, in the box, German made. made. I had yeah. to buy the gasket. Discontinued, you know, for how many years? I had to buy the gasket from Don. Yeah. He sold you the. He charged him fucking two dollars. Yeah. You could have given like 50 cents, dude. I would have given it to you. Yeah, I would have just given it to you. I would have given it to you. In fact, I had gaskets with the carburetors just to give it to you if you got one of them for me. You probably, if this one doesn't work, you probably, because Miss Nikki said she couldn't get that one to run. Well, but my big question is, did you clean out the intake manifold before we put the carburetor on? No. What's down inside of there? Do we know? Well, we had a piece, there was a piece of paper in there. Well, I put the paper in there, but what's yeah. underneath the paper? Because remember, took a it was, look inside. It was, everything did was, you look all the way down to the ends? Yeah. If somebody dropped a nut or a bolt in there, your, your motor's finished. No, we didn't drop it. And remember, no, well, you didn't. <laughs> how about prior to the time that the carburetor was off? Because we don't know how long it was sitting in the guy's garage with no carburetor. And where's the nuts to the carburetor that he took off? Did he drop one of them down the intake manifold? We got both nuts. I'm right trying here. to put the fear in you on purpose. We got both nuts right here. Those are the original nuts that came off of it? Yes. No, they're not. No, they're not. They're not. <laughs> you had nothing to screw them onto. Wait, then I thought they came with the uh, carburetor. Well, what well, what okay. you need to do here isn't very hard. Uh, it's going to take you probably about an hour, but I would suggest that you, you pull it apart and make sure there's nothing down inside the intake manifold because well, those nuts that came off. What you got there, Thomas? Took out the clamps. Why would you do that? So we can check the inside of the carburetor. That's a carburetor? Intake manifold. The intake manifold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get you to repeat it because I don't think it got recorded earlier. So. <laughs> yeah. If Still you've been watching in. the previous video, when Tom and I got this car a couple Wait. weeks ago, there was no Wait. carburetor yeah. in there, so the intake manifold oh, uh, was wide open. There was no paper or anything Wait. packed in there, so we're concerned that nuts might have fallen down inside of there or some other dirt or something. Super so we're going to take this apart. We're going to try to clean up the inside of it, and we're going to go from there and see what we got. Now, why the hell are you calling me out of turn? <laughs> All right, Glenn. Raise your hand. How do you, uh, how do you take this out? Nuts. How do you take what out? The intake manifold. Oh, Carl's getting your tool. Put some paper down inside of there again, too, by the way. Because he's about to blow with air. Get it. Get it, get it. Even I've got one. I'm poor. Well, I mean, I'm poor, too. Oh, you see the neighborhood I live in. I got a gasket right here. I work at Whataburger, dude. So do I. Which one? Computers, which yeah. one? <laughs> which like, one you working at? Is that uh, which one? Oh, right here in town. Okay, yeah. right on 29. The overnight now I know where to okay. go to get my discount. Water Have we crossed paths in here? I don't know. I, I used do all to your work, IT. I used to work day shift. Are you? Do you like come in or do we? Do we call? I come in. You want the contacts? You call the contacts in and they just yeah. dispatch me. Yeah. Well, you probably came in to fix our hard drive because our hard drive literally went complete and they didn't believe me. And which I was one? Like, uh, on register one. 
Register one. Yeah, that's kind of a big deal. They didn't believe me. I was like, no, I'm telling you, it's been running check disk for like 45 minutes. <laughs> when I did promise you. When did it happen? Uh, this was like a month ago, and it's like, because whenever our POS updates, uh -huh. register one always takes like 45 minutes, and it always runs a check disk, and it stays on that. I never got that call, so. It stays on the Pixie Boot screen, and I'm like, something is wrong. Yeah. And they were like, nah, you're good. I was like, no, I'm telling you. There's something wrong with the hard drive. It's been running a check disk every day for like a month now, and it How's lasts it going, like 45 Carlos? minutes, and they're like, what? How's it going? We may <laughs> send somebody, and I was like, I'm telling you, it's still updating, and it started three hours ago. And I'm like, it's okay. the hard drive. And the guy was like, okay, well, you know what? I'll just, I'll go do my thing to see what it is. And then like 10 minutes later, after I was home, like, What's up? Yeah, Go on, it's what? Hard the compressed air? Mm -hmm. Waiting for them to move yeah. so I can just pull it Yeah, across. they never called me out to service that one. Greg might have taken care of it. It might have been my day off or something. So Thank you. Well, I talked to no, Mike. That, that beetle's going to go in there. Oh. And then I think he sent out... I don't even know. Yeah, it probably would have been Greg if it was on a Thursday or a Saturday. And I was it busy. was a... Uh, I called on a Tuesday night. Well, then it would have been me, probably. But I don't remember getting dispatched for that. It still might be a problem then. <laughs> yeah, as soon as it's I may get that it. call down the road because I'm closest to that store. It's actually the nearest well, one in my house. I asked them if they like. Well, they were gonna send somebody in the morning, and I asked them. I was like, "Did somebody ever come to replace the hard drive on Register One?" And they were like, "What are you talking about?" I said, "Okay." Yeah, never happened then. That's fine. The fact that this isn't here makes it so much actually, easier. Actually, yeah, it does. Yeah. Now look, now this thing died. The gimbal just crapped out. <laughs> go get it, go get a metal metal cash can. You're, it's gonna roll away, never mind. You're gonna need a 13 millimeter. Carlos, you're gonna need a 13 millimeter wrench. You won't be able to get to all those nuts with the ratchet. Oh yeah, with that one, yeah, that one's gonna be done. Right. He took the, the wrench. Yeah, 13 millimeter, you just took it with him. Damn it, Tommy! Oh, let me, let me get the compressed air now. There is so much sand. I yeah, this thing is crap.